परमपिता बाबा की जय अ गाइड टू ह्यूमन कंडक्ट बाय श्री श्री आनंद मूर्ति जी वी विल लुक इट्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर टुडे एंड इट इज इंट्रोडक्शन मोरालिटी इज द फाउंडेशन ऑफ साधना स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस इट मस्ट हाउ एवर बी रिमेंबर्ड दैट मोरालिटी और गुड कंडक्ट इज नॉट द culminating point of the spiritual march as a moralist one may set an idol for other moralists but to do so is not even worth mentioning for a sadhaka spiritual aspirant sadhana in its very start requires mental equilibrium this sort of mental harmony may also be termed as morality people often say i followed neither religion nor rituals i abide by truth i harm nobody and i tell no lies this is all that is necessary nothing more need to be done or learned it should be clearly understood that morality is only an effort to lead a well knit life it will be more correct to define morality as a dynamic force rather than a static one because balance in the extroversal spheres of life is maintained by waging a pauseless war against all opposite ideas it is not an intro external equilibrium if the unbalanced state of mind takes a serious turn by pressure of external allurement and if the mental disturbance is found to be intense It is likely that the power for internal struggle may yield, and consequently, the external equilibrium, the show of morality, may at any moment break down. That is why morality is, no doubt, not the goal, not even a static force. the morality of a moralist may disappear at any moment it cannot be said with any certainty that the moralist who has resisted the temptation of a pride of 2 rupees would also be able to resist the temptation of an offer of 200000 rupees Nevertheless morality is not absolutely valueless in human life morality is an attribute of a good citizen and it is the starting point on the path of sadhana moral idols must be able to furnish human beings with the ability as well as the inspiration to proceed on the path of sadhana morality depends on one's effort to maintain a balance regarding time place and person and therefore there may be differences in moral code but the ultimate end of moralism is the attainment of supreme bliss and therefore there should not be any possibility of any imperfections of relativity it cannot be said that the ultimate aim of human life 
is not to commit theft what is desirable is that the tendency to commit theft should be eliminated not to indulge in falsehood is not the aim of life what is important is that the tendency of telling lies should be dispelled from one's mind the sadhaka start spiritual practice with the principles of morality of not indulging in theft or falsehood the aim of such morality is attainment of such a state of oneness with brahma where no desire is left for theft and all tendencies of falsehood disappear in the sadhana of anand marga moral education is imparted with the ideal of oneness with brahma because sadhana is not possible without such a moral ideation sadhana devoid of morality will divert people again towards material enjoyments and at any moment they may use their mental power acquired with such hardship to quench their thirst for meager physical objects there are many who have fallen from the path of yoga or tantra sadhana and are spending their days in disrepute and infamy whatever little progress they achieved through forcible control of their instinct was lost in a moment's error in pursuit of mandan pleasures it must therefore be emphasized that even before beginning sadhana one must follow moral principles strictly those who do not follow these principles should not follow the path of sadhana otherwise they will bring about their own harm and that of others acharyas must have noticed that people of over selfish nature fear anand marg itself for fear of following its strict moral principles they are concerned that the spread of anand marg may inconvenience the fulfillment of their mean selfish desires and therefore they malign the marg in an effort to conceal their own weakness and dishonesty but remember that those who are lacking in moral spirit do not deserve to be called human beings however hard they may try their tall talk alone cannot camouflage the meanness of their minds for a long